Ways to keep you safe, the city of Milton now taking groundbreaking action to stop a specific type of fire starting to become more common. Yeah, they've now made it easier to stop fires at electric vehicle charging stations. And then a news first, Madeline Montgomery is at the Publix in Milton where you can find one of the public charging stations. At Madeline, a specific and special type of blanket will now sit at that station to stop any fires. Also, Milton is one of the first cities that's actually requiring them. That's right. So this ordinance means that any business like this Publix over here is going to have to keep those fire blankets inside if they have one of these charging stations because that lithium ion bar battery rather that sits inside of the vehicles that park here can start a huge fire. Vehicles are smoking. This is an electric car fire in Franklin, Tennessee back in the fall. I need a dump truck of sand or dirt. Thing. This took firefighters five hours to put out. They used over 45,000 gallons of water. Unlike a traditional car fire, it takes approximately 500 gallons of water to extinguish. These electric vehicle fires can take up to 30,000 gallons of water, which means extended, extended on-scene times for our first responders. The fire in Franklin happened to a car that was plugged up to an EV charger. Situations like it inspired Milton's fire marshal to be proactive. Lithium ion battery fires are a problem nationwide. Um, across the country, we'll see that lithium ion batteries spontaneously combust um, due to overcharging, undercharging. This week, the city passed an ordinance he pinned that will have businesses that have public EV chargers keep fire blankets handy for fire department use. With these um, vehicle fire blankets, they're able to apply water to the car, right? Get the fire dampened down and then apply the blanket um, to cut off the oxygen supply. Cutting down water use and response time. Milton is home to many EV vehicles. It's a very affluent city. You see electric vehicles and these chargers pretty much all over the city. And so different metro cities have actually reached out to the chief here because they want to start similar ordinances. Reporting live in Milton, I'm Madeline Montgomery, Atlanta News First. Well, Steph